Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking more about context managers. Uh, I did a few other videos about them that I will link in the description, um, but we're asking a very specific question today, which is, I'm writing a class, which is a context manager, so it has enter and exit. And again, I went over this uh, in that other video, so check that one out. Um, but I also have other resources that I need to manage myself, so I need to call other contexts. Um, and so how do I go about doing that? Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you a bad solution that doesn't work properly, and then I'm going to show you a really easy solution, uh, which takes all of the guesswork out of it and makes makes this not a big not a big deal. Um, so let's start by making a, a little file here. I'm actually going to make some context managers that are not the class that we're talking about. So we're we're enforcing a, a constraint on this that we'll eventually have to write a class which manages some stuff. Um, but since it's much easier to write just simple context managers with context lib, we're going to do that. Context lib dot context manager. And these are just going to be simple ones that do print before and then try you finally print after, uh, just like a very, very simple context manager. And then we'll get to our class, which is going to have these sort of sub contexts in it. And in order to, I guess we don't need in it, so we can just do enter. Uh, so we have enter and we have exit, uh, which has tp inst traceback. Um, and these are all optional, but I'm gonna leave out the types because it's gonna be faster this way. Um, so let's say that we want to, let's say that we're a context manager and we just want to wrap one context. So we'll start with the very simplest case and then go from, from there. Um, so the first thing that we'll need to do is we need to grab this context manager, call it and get its results. And so we're going to do that by calling CTX. Uh, and then we need to enter it. So we need to start that context manager. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to call self.ctx.enter. And that's going to start this context manager. This is kind of the, the API that context managers have. Um, and then at the end, we're going to, uh, when we exit, we need to exit this one as well. So we need to call self.ctx.exit with tp inst tb. Um, and usually, you know, if you're only wrapping a single context manager, you'll return this value alone. And this all works great currently. Python 3 i tnup pi, we do with c, and then just print inside. Uh, you'll see that we get before, inside, after. So not only did it do our setup, but it also tore down this afterwards. And that's all fine and dandy. Um, but as soon as you introduce more than one context here, this gets much more complicated. Let's add another context manager here. I'll actually just copy and paste you. Uh, we'll call you CTX2, before two, after two. Um, so we're gonna do kind of the same thing that we would do here. Now, this is buggy code, so don't do what I'm doing here. <laughs> self.ctx2 equals CTX2, and then you would do self.ctx2.enter. Uh, and then on exit, you would, Mm, this is where things get actually kind of complicated. So exit can raise an exception, which would actually change the types of these. Let's pretend that exit can't raise exceptions for, for the sake of discussion. Um, uh, also, this can return a value to suppress exceptions, which would prevent the second thing from working properly. Um, so there's all there's like there's like six subtle bugs in these two lines here, and there's one subtle bug in in these lines here. Um, and let's just let's just run this and show that it works, but it's probably not what we want. Um, print, print, inside, and you'll see we get before, before two, inside, after, after two. So actually, there's there's more bugs than I thought. <laughs> you actually want to tear things down in the same order that you set them up as well. So now if we do with C, oops, print inside. Okay, so now this looks basically fine, but things get a little tricky if one of these starts raising an exception. So let's say that, let's talk about the bug up here first. So the first bug is if this were to raise an exception, this context never gets torn down. So if we were to uh, raise, oops here, raise type, raise uh, assertion error, oops. 
Uh, and then we run this now with C print inside. Uh, you'll see that we set up this context manager and then we oopsed inside context two and we never tore it down. So this leaked a resource here. So there's there's some subtle bugs here. Uh, you could fix this by writing a try except around this and then tearing stuff down. Uh, but I'm gonna show you a way that's just foolproof because this is this is so much so many error cases to think about here uh, in a second. I'll show you that in a second. Um, I also wanted to show you if we were to raise during teardown, uh, we have a similar problem. So if we do with C print inside, um, yeah, you'll see that we tore down after two, but we never tore down the first one here. So based on how this raises, you might end up in a similar situation. But I'm gonna show you a solution to this. First, let's comment this or leave this out. Um, Fortunately, what we can do is we can utilize exit stack, which is a um, a little helper <laughs> context manager for us uh, to implement this for us. So let's do um, self.stack equals context lib dot exit stack. And what we're going to do is we're going to individually enter contexts into here and um, it should unroll them for us if it encounters problems. So we'll do self.stack. Uh, we can still do self.ctx equals, actually we don't need it anymore. Self.stack.enterContext and we'll pass in ctx and we'll pass in ctx2 here. Um, and this also makes our exit much simpler as well. We can just say return self.stack.exit tp inst tv. And exit stack will take care of all of that error handling and weird edge cases that we would have had to manage instead. Um, and just to show you that this works with C print inside, um, and you'll see, you know, we get the same ordering here. And it automatically did the ordering in the proper, you know, proper order here. Now, I want to see what happens if this raises an exception. I think we might still. Uh, we might still leak this context in this case, so we might still need to add a little bit of logic to our enter function here. I'm not entirely sure how this works. It's with C print inside. Uh, yeah, so we still have to do a little bit of state management here as well. So if any of these are to fail, we need to make sure that we tear down this stack as well. So we can probably just wrap all of these with try and then accept exception, actually probably accept base exception because we're going to re-raise it at the end. I'll just put a raise here, uh, but we need to do self.stack. Uh, is it close, I think it is? So you can tell it to, um, you can tell it to go through the entire exit stack directly and then re-raise the error out of it. So now if we run this, oh, you'll see it did run after. This is because everything got garbage collected at the end. And so when this context manager got garbage collected, it did eventually clean it up, um, but it didn't clean it up, you know, probably when we would have wanted it to. Um, so now if we do this with C print inside, uh, yeah, so you can see that it set up this one context and then it tore it down and then we raised the exception. So we didn't leak any resources by using this pattern. Um, so this is the pattern that I would recommend if you are going to uh, do this in um, in code. Oh, I guess one other thing that I forgot to do, although I think it's a no-op, is to make sure that we enter the exit stack. I don't think that actually changes anything here. Uh, do we need this special code is the question. Let's actually comment this out. Oops. Um, and there we go. Do we need this special code? Yes, we still need that special code. Okay, cool. Yep, just just double checking. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good idea to double under enter this just so that you know you have you have an enter and exit that match up with each other. Um, I think you can actually do this in one line here because exit stack returns itself on entering uh, with C print inside. Cool. Yeah, awesome. So this is kind of the, the pattern that you can use to wrap other context managers. 
Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.